In this video, we are going to study multiple linear regression in Python using Spider IDE. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into Spider IDE. So the first step within the video, which we're going to comment here, is we need to import the corresponding package. So for this, we're going to import statsmodels.api as sm. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.api as smf. And we're importing that feature from statsmodels for our multiple linear regression calculation. To run these two code lines, we go ahead and select them, and we can either press the Run Selection button, or we can press F9 on the keyboard. So then we continue with step number two, which is data. For this, we're going to create an object named houseprices__object, which is equal to SM feature from statsmodels.datasets dot get underscore r data set and we open parenthesis and we have the following parameters data name equals to and within quotations house prices comma enter and we have package equals to and within quotations aer comma cash equals to true so what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cache equals to true means that we save the data locally when downloading and we don't need to download it again every time we run the code. Press enter on the keyboard and at the following row we are going to create a new object named house prices. The reason for this is that house prices object includes both data and documentation so in this house prices object we're going to include only the data. So from house prices underscore object, we get its data attribute. To run this code lines, we again go ahead, select them and press F9 on the keyboard. And if we go into the variable explorer, we see the two objects, house prices with the data and house prices object with data and documentation. So within house prices, the one with the data, we go ahead and double click on this cell and we can see the data. In this video, we're only going to focus on the first three columns of data of price, lot size and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so as follows. Print and from house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute and in this case at any part of that code line we go ahead and press f9 on the keyboard so right here within the console you can see the full documentation so we can scroll up and we'll see house prices are documentation so now we scroll to the bottom So now that we have the data ready, we continue with step number three, which is the model. So before coding the model, we're going to write its equation, which we also comment, and it's as follows. Hat price equals to hat beta zero plus hat beta 1 multiplied by lot size plus enter in the keyboard hat beta 2 multiplied by bedrooms so we have several hats here because they are all estimates and this equation reads as follows the estimated price is equal to the estimated beta 0 or constant coefficient plus the estimated beta 1 or partial regression coefficient multiplied by lot size 
plus the estimated beta 2 partial regression coefficient multiplied by bedrooms. So then we continue with coding the model. For this, we're going to create a new object named MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression equals to SMF feature from stats models dot OLS, which stands for ordinary least squares. And within parentheses, we have the following parameters. Formula equals to, and within quotations, because this is a string, price being explained by lot size plus bedrooms. Data, which is equal to house prices and we fit this regression. So let's go ahead and right here press enter on the keyboard so we can see it right there. And the last step is we want to print the estimated coefficients from the model so we do so with print command and from MLR object we get its params parameter. So again, to run these code lines, we go ahead and select them and we press F9 on the keyboard. And this created the MLR object and right here within the console, we see the results of the corresponding estimates for the coefficients. The first of this, the one for the intercept, is the estimated beta zero coefficient. And that's the estimated price when both lot size and bedrooms are equal to zero. Then we have the estimated lot size coefficient, which is the estimated beta 1 partial regression coefficient, and that's the estimated change in price when lot size changes in one unit while keeping bedrooms constant. And last we have the bedrooms coefficient, which is the estimated beta 2 partial regression coefficient, and that's the estimated change in price when bedroom changes in one unit while keeping lot size constant. So with this, we finish this code file, so we can go ahead and save it. And also, with this, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.